Little Nightmares introduced us to a disturbing world inhabited by monstrous enemies, like the misshapen janitor with his elongated hands, or the corpulent twin chefs preparing a grotesque feast for their disgusting guests. Following a hands-on encounter with the first adversary in Little Nightmares 2, I'm happy to say the sequel is proving to be just as unnerving. This particular tale puts you in control of Mono, a diminutive figure who adorns his head with a paper bag and an oddly cute fashion statement. Where the first installment had you navigating the tight confines of a ship, this sequel introduced me to a foreboding yet equally oppressive woods. It wasn't long before I hesitantly explored the basement of an old shack to find an imprisoned child who turned out to be Six, the protagonist from the first story, minus her signature yellow Rinko. True to its predecessor, Little Nightmares 2 will have you navigating the side-scrolling world and interacting with often oversized environments to overcome obstacles, uncover paths, and dodge traps. Or worse. The locations are suitably haunting as they are engrossing, with every discarded item and object telling a story you aren't quite sure you want to hear the ending to. The true danger in my hour-long demo took the distorted form of the Hunter, a truly disturbing bag-headed foe armed with a trusty hunting shotgun. The Hunter's appearance is marked by some excellent use of ominous lighting and skin-crawling sounds that made quite the first impression. Unlike some of the enemies in the first Little Nightmares, surviving this encounter wasn't about staying out of reach, it was about avoiding detection and scrambling for cover when the former failed. Escaping the demented Elmer Fudd may not have been overly difficult, but it did provide several tense moments of cat and mouse. Having an AI companion in 6 proved to be an interesting change, even if it didn't alter the flow of the game that much. I was able to beckon her over to assist in certain puzzles, but most of the time felt like she already knew what to do next. I also noticed that by following my lead, she never really presented herself as a target to the hunter, and honestly, I'm glad for that. Nothing turns horror into frustration like an AI partner that's more trouble than they're worth, but I do hope that Six gets more chances to prove herself. My time in the forest of Little Nightmares 2 felt well paced with the right amount of tension that never dragged on for too long. The demo reached its end just outside the towering structures of a city that looked as though it had sprang out of a deranged children's book. I can only excitedly guess what fresh hordes I'll find waiting within when Little Nightmares 2 releases on PC and consoles later this year.